Hello everyone, I've got a new tool and it's a planer. It's a Bosch Professional GHO 18 volt one. So what I thought I'd do is show you its features and then I've got a project I need to use it on. So the first thing you notice on this, it's got a big dial at the front. It goes from zero to 1.6 and that's millimeters depth of cut. So really you can do 0.5 millimeters to 1.6 millimeters. Then you've got the power switch, so you can't just pull it, you've got to push in one of these switches from either side, so it can work well for left or right handed operation. So at the bottom obviously you've got the cutter block and the blade, and these are reversible blades, so I really like that, if you ever nick anything you know you've got a clean edge, and as soon as you move on to the second blade, then I always buy new ones. Now to change them, there's just a couple of Allen keys no, a couple of bolts, and at the back, on here, you've got an Allen key that's stored to change them. The blade on this goes right up to the edge of the sole, and that means you can use this to cut rebates. I believe it's eight mil deep you can go, which is very useful. Now at the front, there's these grooves. I didn't actually know what they're for, but now I know, it's quite obvious, they're for chamfering. So you can get the groove on the side of your workpiece and add different size chamfers using the plane. I think that's a really handy little feature. It comes with a dust bag that fits on either side, but I tend to prefer to use a vac. Now, there's a switch here that diverts the shavings or chippings to come out of either port, depending on which side you're working. I think that's a great feature. The whole thing feels really nicely built, but is really lightweight, which I think would be handy if you were planing, say, the edge of a door and had to be working maybe above head height. You don't want anything too heavy when doing that. Right, let's actually use this thing in anger. What I have is this fantastic slab of oak, but it is not flat. It's got a live edge on and some bark, so I think we'll get that removed and then we need to flatten it. I've not been able to do anything with it because I had no machine that could flatten something this big. So my plan is just to really square it all up and then put it in the kitchen and use it as a chopping board. It looks great with the bark on here, but I know when it dries out fully in the warm kitchen, it would just fall off. I want to be able to hold this nice and steady, so I've got an F clamp that I'm just going to get into my vise. And then, if I put it in the right way so I can actually tighten it up, I can then clamp the board. I've got my extractor out. I'm going to get this set up so the chips come out of that side and get it plugged in. Right, let's grab a battery. I'm going to start off getting it 0 0.5 or actually less than that, the very first knob. So we're going to take a shallow cut. That was really quick to do, it's left a lovely finish and we are now nice and flat. So, flip it over and do the other side. So they might not be completely parallel to each other, but that's not gonna matter. It's gonna look about right.
This is now nice and flat and has a lovely smooth finish. I've had this bit of wood for well over a year and been meaning to do this, but I just could not be motivated to do it by hand. And I should think with the planer, maybe a minute's work. But I've still got rough edges where it's been sawn. So now I'm going to take it to the bandsaw and square it up. On three sides, I'm going to leave one of the live edges. So there we go, roughly square on three sides with a nice live edge at the front. Now I'm just going to give it all a sand down. Lovely and smooth now, so I'm just going to get some finish on and I've got some beeswax oil because it's food safe. I think this is my new go-to finish. Easy to apply, looks great and it's food safe. Finish is dry, so the last job I want to do is add some little feet to it. So I've got these little plastic feet, the kind of ones you put on the bottom of chairs. So I'm just going to get one of these screwed into each corner of the base. That's it all done. A block of wood with some feet on it. Not my most complicated project ever, but sometimes when you've got a bit of wood as nice as this, you want to do as little as possible to it. So, I don't know if I mentioned, Bosch sent me this for free um, to try, and I'm, I'm pleased with it. I don't think it's going to be one of my most used tools. It's not an everyday tool like the drill or the sander, but when you've got things like this, it comes in very useful. So I'll put a link down to it below. So thank you to Bosch, thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.